Uh, so much for this road. You just follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. What happened between you two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly <laughs> something went down. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, oh, here we go. So what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? The last time you saw him? I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, with or without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. Right there's a hydroelectric power plant. <laughs> I, a hydro who? It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How does it do that? Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across? We'll make it across. All right. I'll find something. I need you to... I know. Step on the fucking pallet.
Oh, give it a spin. Hey, be careful crossing that thing. I will. Teamwork. Too small of a grave. I forgot to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I won't talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just. That's enough. All right. I'm sorry. I know, I am too. All right, next twirl I see, I'm totally shooting it. Let's get past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. Should we head in? Uh, ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Okay. Please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. What are you doing, baby brother? God damn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You get fucking old. Easy. It's going to happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. We all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Oh. Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. False alarm! They're friendlies. 
We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no, you know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right, well, take it easy. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. Get some food in you. Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. Come on. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh... I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We had crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? And we're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence when the plant's up there. Maybe you still got to deal with infected, though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. But he's good to have around. <laughs> well, that's a good boy. These two geniuses are gonna bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure, make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. 
To the left. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Lower it. Slowly. All right. That's good. Tommy's here. We good to go? Give me one second. Okay, good to go. Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. <laughs> God damn. We did it, boys. Nice work, boys. Somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. See that? That's pretty impressive. Looks like you're out two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go talk. It's quite the crew you got here. They're good men. 